Happy Thursday, July 16th. We're almost there. Ladies and gentlemen, the end of Animal Farm and the beginning of Macbeth. Now I know some of us, maybe with Shakespeare, not the biggest fans, but I can assure you, Macbeth is one of Shakespeare's best plays, probably my favorite. It's filled with tragedy, with gore. For today's class, we're going to focus a little bit on an introduction to Macbeth and Shakespeare as a whole. Then we're going to read Act 1. Keep in mind, any struggles that you might have with regards to understanding Old English, you are more than welcome to use additional resources or modern uh, texts that will help translate any of the words that you're struggling with or the vocabulary. It's okay. This is part of the Shakespeare uh, experience. If you're struggling with things, feel free to reach out to me. I have offered additional resources under our Google Classroom to help support your learning. In addition, for our discussion thread, what are your thoughts on Shakespeare? In the past, have you enjoyed his work? Have you found reading Old English easy or challenging in the past? What are some techniques or resources that have helped you and as well, um, or that have helped you? So that this way we can try to work together to try to help maybe those that might not like Shakespeare as much to help improve their learning and see what might work for us all. For me personally, I don't see an issue with looking up uh, something on Spark Notes or trying to figure out the translation of a word. I remember being in high school and studying Shakespeare. This was all a part of the experience. You're not doing anything wrong by doing some additional research to understand the content. Now, our learning goal for today's class is that students understand the historical elements attached to Macbeth and how this fits under the Elizabethan hierarchy. Success criteria. I can explain a few details of Shakespeare's life. I can explain Elizabethan hierarchy. I can explain the apparitions and why they are important. I can explain how feminism plays a role in the play throughout Macbeth and Lady Macbeth's relationship. Finally, I want you to be able to respond to our discussion thread. See what our fellow classmates have used in the past. See what might work for you. And let's get off to a fantastic start on Shakespeare. If you're struggling to understand or you have a couple questions, feel free to message me. No issues at all. I hope you all have a fantastic day. And I really look forward to uh, Friday tomorrow and working with you guys. Have a, have a fantastic day.